These are my three absolute essential tools in building a website and I'm going to show them to you now. Hey, thank you for joining me in another WP Crafter video. And in this video, I'm gonna peel back the curtain a little bit and show you three tools that I use. And guess what? They don't cost anything. That's right, it's all free. Uh, these three tools that I use whenever I'm building a website, I use these extensively. And you need these tools in order to get the website design that you want. And now this is also going to be kind of a beginner level. And this is why. Um, these tools are going to make it so whenever you're at a website and you say, hmm, I really like the way this site looks. I really like the colors. I really like this font. I really like some of the way they're doing things. I'm going to show you with these three tools how you can kind of emulate some of that. No one owns a font. No one owns a, or has the absolute right to a font or a color scheme or, or a site layout. No one has an absolute copyright on any of that stuff. And it's freely available information that you can integrate into your website. Now, most of us are not creative on our own. We, we know when we like something, but then we don't necessarily, if we had a blank piece of paper in front of us, we wouldn't really know how to create something we want because we create based upon what we see elsewhere. So with these three tools, you're going to be able to implement what you see elsewhere on your very own website. So let's take a look at my web browser. So I've got open right now Google Chrome. Now, I don't use Google Chrome really. I only use it for these purposes. I have three web browsers on my computer. I've got Safari, which I use for everything. Uh, I've got Firefox and I've got Chrome. And you should have all three browsers on your computer as well because you can have them configured to do different things. But I use Chrome because I can add these free extensions to it so that it can do some really cool things for me. So um, if you weren't already aware, uh, Chrome and also Firefox, you can add these extensions to extend the functionality. And the way you get to that in Chrome is you click on this uh, little hamburger icon on the right there, and then you would go into settings, and uh, that will pull this up right here, and then you would click on extensions, and it lists all your extensions, and this is where you can delete or disable or whatever your extensions. So the first extension I'm going to look at is what uh, what font, okay? I've already got it pulled up here. You can just do a Google search for what font like this. And what this is going to do, and that's this little F right here, that's going to make it so whenever you're on a website, you can click that and you can find out what fonts they're using on that website. A lot of times I'll see a font and I think, wow, that looks great. I, I, I wonder how, I wonder what font that is and I wonder how it look on my website. Because nowadays with most themes, you can go into the option panel of the theme and choose your fonts. So this will give you, uh, this will tell you exactly what fonts other people are using. So for example, I'm here on my website right here, WP Crafter. I can click on the F and you see this uh, button here. Now, now none of the links on your site are going to work anymore. And as you move your mouse around, it's going to tell you um, the name of the font when you go over it. So this is Open Sans, Open Sans, Open Sans. So if I wanted to find out some more information about the font, I could just click and it tells me this is Open Sans Bold. And um, right here, it just tells me the size and the line height. I think that's pretty awesome. Okay, so it's going to do that for, for any, any font on the page. It's going to tell you exactly what font you're using. So what's nice about this is you can take those font names and see if they're available in your theme and just go ahead and implement it and see how it looks. So I use this a lot when I'm trying to decide what font to use for a website. Now, when you're done looking at the different fonts, all you have to do is click this button that says exit what font, and it exits. Okay, the next one is Colorzilla. A very important part of web design is fonts and topography, your layout, but it's the colors that you use. Are you using some crazy wacky colors? Now, me personally, I do a lousy job at choosing colors. I'm going to choose colors based on colors I see. And that's what Colorzilla is going to allow you to do. Any color 
on any web page, it will give you the what's called the hex code, and you can copy and paste that into your theme and change the colors anywhere. Okay, so uh, all you have to do is a search for Colorzilla, and it's in the Chrome Web App Store, and it's free, of course, as well. So let's take a look at Colorzilla, and that's this icon right here in the toolbar. Now, when I click on it, it gives me this drop down, and I'm going to choose Pick Color from Page. Now when I do that, my mouse icon, uh, which is normally the pointer, it turns into this plus. And you can see as I'm moving the plus, it's identifying the color. So you can see right here in this box, that's where it's going to tell me the color that the, the plus box or whatever that thing's called is on. And it's going to give me the hex code right here. So you can see if I wanted to... Uh, know what this color is there it is I've got it right there now what's nice is if I just click on the mouse it's gonna copy that into the clipboard so here's a different color right there here's my green uh, so let's go ahead and click on that and it's gonna put it right into the clipboard and now you have your color code and if your theme most themes do you can drop in different hex codes to change colors of different elements now you're going to be able to build out a color palette for your website um, so uh, this is so helpful to know colors I tell you uh, and you should also have like a notepad where you're keeping like track of the different colors that you're using so you don't have to bust out with colorzilla all the time okay the last one it's a little Actually, that's funny. I tried to pull it up for you. It looks like <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. Looks like I pulled it up on Mozilla. This is um, uh, basically called Firebug. And there's Firebug for Chrome and Firebug for Firefox. Just do a search for Firebug and you're going to find it. Uh, what Firebug does, and this is a little more advanced, but you should work towards getting comfortable with this. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to inspect the different code elements of a page and uh, you can look at the code but what I mostly use it for is it's going to show you the CSS styles that stands for cascading style sheets and that's how um, all the styles are applied to your web design so you should at some point get to know a little bit about CSS so I'm going to go through this quick because it's a little more of advanced so uh, when you have that added to Chrome or Firefox you're going to have this little bug in your toolbar and when you click on it it's going to pull up this panel right here so I'm going to show you what you how to use this you've got your panel you click on this inspect button and then you start moving the mouse and it's going to put a box around certain items okay you see that it's putting a box here here and then if you when you when it's selected the item you want you just click on the mouse so I'm gonna show you this um, this uh, bar up here so I can click on the menu items but that's not what I want I want the whole thing selected so here I'm on the logo and here it's selecting the whole thing so now that I have that selected you've got the different uh, uh, HTML code right here in the left and on the right you have your CSS styles for the element that you just clicked on and you can see how they're set so right here it's saying the header and the main menu that's this entire bar right here and then it says background color this is where it gets fun if I move my mouse cursor over the color code it shows me what that color is and I can see it's the green so this is uh, essentially the color that I have coded in for that area now if you want to test different styles you can actually click in it and you can change those styles and so what I'm gonna do is actually paste in the color code that's in the clipboard that I showed you when I was demonstrating colorzilla so I'm gonna paste it in and you can see it dynamically applied this new style so what I did in the uh, the tool right before this I was showing you colorzilla and I selected this color and uh, you could see I just pasted it in and the two colors match so this is how you can dynamically uh, try different things with your website without adjusting any of the code now if I wanted if I liked this then and my theme option panel gave me an option to paste this color in it I could do it that way but if it didn't give me the option themes usually have something called uh, a section to place custom CSS um, your theme option panel should have that if not there's plugins that will add that to it 
I can actually copy this this uh, style here, this style change by going like this and just copying it and pasting it uh, as CSS into my theme and then my color is going to change. So you can really do some neat things with uh, Firebug. Uh, now I'm only scratching the surface, okay? I'm giving you a basic overview of how I use it, and, but I'm just scratching the surface. Uh, but it's an easy way to try different things to get code, to identify code changes that you need to make to get the changes that you want. So anyways, this video, um, these three extensions for Chrome, they're free guys, they're absolutely free. And they're gonna enable you to make a better looking website. You can now know what f font codes are for colors that you like, because you see them elsewhere. You can know what fonts you like, because you see other sites using those fonts. It's all really easy when you have these three tools. Now, I'm pretty sure you found this video helpful and I need something from you. I need you to, to click the thumbs up if you're watching this on YouTube. Just give me a thumbs up. That's going to help me. If you have any questions about these three extensions, leave a comment below. Let's get a conversation going. Just ask me. I'm very available uh, to you. And last, I'm going to ask you to click on the red subscribe button. If this video has brought value to you, uh, you're going to get value out of all my videos. So you might as well just subscribe and get those pushed out to you whenever I publish them. So once again, thank you for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, we'd appreciate it if you took a moment to click on the thumbs up button and to share this video with your friends. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and take a moment to go over to our website, leave us a comment, ask us a question, but sign up for our newsletter. Thanks again for watching this video and make sure you connect with us on these social networks.